given the scenario where we are and uh, given what the actions are being taken by the government i think the ground view is looking promising and uh, the graphs are looking like skyscrapers what uh, particularly makes you say that it's looking uh, uh, it's looking good and the graphs are looking like skyscrapers the economy of india is today driven by the consumption so the consumption economy which is not present elsewhere in the world i think only india can offer and with that all the other initiatives of the government will also kick in specifically if we want to look at you know those on infrastructure development they only go to boost what is happening or what will happen with the given policies moreover whatever the met department is saying i think that will only give a boost to where we are that will bring a lot of interest into india and specifically backed by the consumption uh, which india can deliver to all those companies infrastructure also needs a lot of private sector investment uh, do you see that uh, this thrust which the government is placing on the infrastructure sector actually uh, uh, you know prodding the private sector in some way to come in and invest in the sector absolutely it will happen because the government is spending someone has to come and do the work and that will be not only the government companies but also the private companies so definitely the private companies would also get see it's like the cycle to start mm-hmm. once you start here then automatically the whole you know the uh, cycle of private investment will also start with it so i personally believe yes it is happening will that also mean that we will see a lot of uh, you know pppps being forged uh, say over the next few absolutely and i i think the government has taken the right steps they are not waiting for pppps they are saying if ppp is not happening we will go for epc you know as contracts which the government will fund some of the private investors are still shy investing but you rightly said once the cycle starts then the pppps and everything all the models will be there what then are the three challenges for your sector for our sector i think it is one is that we need the infrastructure and that is happening so still there is time mm-hmm. second is that we must look at the policies which are coming in for example one of them is gst why do i say that because if you look at the current environment the buying and selling is happening basis of taxation rather than on logistics so from when the gst is there it becomes a big one country it's actually like a continent i mean nobody can offer such a big you know marketplace in the world no doubt us looks bigger but then they also divided into states and whatever else here this is one big continent so automatically this will become a place looking at logistics for transporting and manufacturing of goods rather than based on taxation so i would say these are the challenges which i see one is on the infrastructure development and the policies two or three policies that you think must go through changes if we need to uh, you know give the infrastructure sector that push that is required for india's growth of course in terms of uh, ease of uh, or rather policies i would say gst is the on the top of the agenda Okay you said the environment is getting better yes what is a company like yours doing to capitalize on this improving environment we are preparing ourselves like for example we already taken steps in terms of contract logistics we believe as i uh, said about you know consumption driven economy when the consumption is rising there would be a need for logistics and we are preparing ourselves for that we are going in for logistics park we are preparing ourselves in ncr region in jajar haryana where we will set up a logistics park we have acquired a company called avashya cci now where we will hold 61% plus shares and this is in contract logistics contract logistics is all about value add warehousing and that's where we will be present we will be present in contract logistics for vendor management distribution and even if you say facility management or whatever it needs for e-commerce and the marketplace all that also requires a lot of investment what is the kind of investment that uh, uh th- that you are planning over a period of 3 to 4 years we we believe that there will be an investment requirement of approximately 500 crores in our business so we'll set up logistics park we have acquired this company we are setting up a cfs in kolkata so these are the three businesses which we have right now started on but as we go along in our journey of course we may find opportunities and there could be more uh how uh, what is the outlook uh, uh, for your sector looking like see it's promising because again i come back to my consumption driven economy and because of consumption you need logistics 
if manufacturing which is going to take place in india which all the steps which have been taken place dedicated rail freight corridors smart cities sagarmala logistics is the place to be in and this is a sector that should be watched very closely mm -hmm.